All right, guys. It's very early on release day. We've been sorted. We got attacked by a dragon. We're headed with Professor Weasley to our first class. Let's see how this goes. So far. Always really something cool. happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross station, so to speak. I wish they'd ever... That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Mm. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. And then what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. All right, that's all that she has. For Thank us. you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, I'm afraid there isn't. There is, in fact. Do we be honest with her or do we hide it? I feel like she's very trustworthy. Um, so we did take a bit of a detour on the way here ended up exploring some ruins and I shouldn't say more exploring ruins well <laughs> I presume professor fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now speak of the devil professor mm. fig your ears must have been burning oh yes you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, so we have quite a bit to do. Two classes to take, then go meet her, then go to Hogsmeade. So let's talk to Fig here. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Mm. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. Mm. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yeah, what is the... Can trap the available quest for the map. This symbol represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the store, unlock new features, and grant experience. Some quests are locked by spell or level requirements. In these cases, we will be needed to require you will need to be the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be learned by completing professor's assignments or as a quest reward. Okay. Track a quest with X. So we can go learn Levioso and Akio. Let's do Charmed class first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Um, Rebellion. Charmed Compass, complete main quest. 260 experience. We can't grab that because we don't have. Cast Charmed Compass. Oh, and that will show us the way. I see. Let's talk to this girl here. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha mm. thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Uh, have you learned anything? Have you about gained it? any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay. Do come and find me. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Nearby. Oh, that's a stairwell. Down here. Rebellion. There's a chest. Grab the chest. Oh, wait. Tatter saw dust escape uniform. Oh, find the location. It's on our mini map. <laughs> Good lord. I if there's anything over here. I feel like there's probably so many things to do. I wish we could grab these, but I guess once we have Accio, we can. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? 
can we? So maybe we can't do anything yet because we don't have the spells. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Hmm. Oh. Push right on the D-pad and brings up all of these. Quite a few spells. Okay. Well. Can we go in here? things that we can't actually do yet. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we can't do that. Alright, let's go back to tracking our one quest here, and we'll come back after we have... Revelio. This statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Swarmy. The wizard famous for admitting Gregory's un... whatever that word is. Action. A potion that makes a drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Yep. Rewards to unlock. Let's see our rewards here. Field guide. Oh, so we got those. Claim reward. So, eight more and we get Hogwarts Regalia. What's this? Oh, Revelio pages. Going to quest here. That's what we'll do. Okay. Oh, it says to go this way. There's another one. Revelio. Wyburn Fountain. We'll leave this up for a second. You can pause if you'd like to read it. Oh, then we got a level up. Nice. And a flu flame. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, the flu flame was talking to us. I was like, who's talking? There's just so many things to like. Revelio! Look at and see and there we go. It makes a young orphan wizard Ilias, who's famously saved an entire village from an army of Dementors and Dark Wizard by conjuring a mouse patronus. A hundred and forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. Uh, okay. Let's go on to our class here. We're getting distracted. Revelio. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to really explore, so... Let's get to class. Oh wow, look at that. Look at everything. <laughs> this place is huge. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh. Uh. 
Revelio. Okay. Here we can cast Lumos on this one, just so we have it triggered. Lumos. Okay. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Let's do this quest. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Funny. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! This is where we learn to ride a broom. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah. huh. 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this okay. like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but Practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. That's it! Heck yeah. Excellent control there. Oh. Stay focused. Dang. Got close. Splendid. Not too bad. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. You attack out of summon wall as close as you can to the edge without going over in order to score points. Okay. What? got 30 points let's come over here I'm gonna knock her ball off that's it here we go there we go okay Yes. I will get you back for that. Misha. And I think I'm going to do the same again. Done. We'll beat her. Ouch! Well played. Summoner's Court winner, 130. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think okay. we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us keep it. of you. Well done. I want him to win. Class
Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember oh, wow. the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> it's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. Revelio is so fine. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Oh, we can talk to Cressida. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor oh, Ronan good. reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Duncan Harphouse. All right, let's go talk to Professor Ronan. A word, if you would. Revelio. Sure, there's anything over here. There is. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. Charmed class complete. Now that we've completed the first class, we can go on to the next one, but we'll do that in our next video. So thanks for tuning in so far, guys. I'll see you in class.